Hello everyone, welcome back to Get Your Mind Right Barbecue. I'm Tommy D. Thanks for tuning in. I got a wonderful recipe I'm going to share with you. It's a quarantine edition, that's right. We're still stuck in quarantine here in Athens, Georgia with my lovely family. And if you are fortunate enough to see my quarantine pork butt video I dropped just a few short weeks ago, then you would know that one of the key things in that video was having leftover pulled pork. So what do you do? You don't want to waste those leftovers. You can't get to the grocery store as often as you usually could. So we want to use those leftovers. We want to use this pulled pork. And we're going to do a southern style barbecue pizza. And I'm going to cook it outside on my Camp Chef pellet grill. Do me a favor. Before we get going in this delicious recipe, subscribe to my channel. Click the little button down here in the bottom right portion. Make sure you hit that notification bell so you're notified when my latest videos drop. Thank you for tuning in. We love the comments. Get your mind right. Let's get it going. Now, every pizza has to start off with a good crust. You can't cook a good pizza. Heck, you can't even cook a pizza without crust. But that, to me, is the single most important part of a pizza. When you bite into that pizza, you want to get that crispy bite. At least I do. Who wants that flimsy, thick dough? I prefer a thinner, original hand toss to a thin, crispy style pizza crust. If you have a homemade recipe for a pizza pie crust, by all means use it. And do me a favor, share it with me down below. I would love to check it out, or at least try it here with my family. But today, to save some time, I'm using basically a store-bought pie crust. It's Mama Maria's. You can get this at any grocery store. This is the 12 inch version. We usually use the seven to eight inch mini versions and I cook those out, do some pepperonis quite a bit. But today we're doing a Southern style barbecue pizza. So I'm gonna do a bigger pizza. I'm gonna do two of these. First things first, I like to use some olive oil. I like to give it a light coat and just brush it on. You get the edges there. And what this olive oil does is it's gonna absorb into this pie crust and it's gonna crispen it up. I love to get that crispy bite off of pizza. We're not talking marinara today, we're talking barbecue sauce. Now you can use any barbecue sauce you would like. I prefer a thicker sauce. And when I think of thick, original, just good old thick barbecue sauce, I think of Sweet Baby Ray's. You can get this just about anywhere. And this works fantastic for barbecue pizzas. And basically you're just going to put about a quarter of a cup, four or five tablespoons or so. And again, you could do a lot more or you could do a lot less, whatever you prefer. Just make sure you spread it evenly. Okay, now that we got our crust, we got the olive oil down, we got the barbecue sauce on as our marinara, it's time to get some good old cheese on this bad boy. And what I like to start off with, I like to start off with some mild cheddar cheese. Let's get some mild cheddar. I'm using about a cup and a half per pizza pie. And these are a 12 inch pie. And uh, I'm just using a cup and I'm gonna get kind of a light coat of it, make sure it's kind of spread out. And then I'm gonna put some of the pulled pork on, okay? And I like to use a couple different types of cheeses. You don't wanna go just straight mozzarella, or you can use a Kobe Jack, you can use pepper jack. Use whatever you would like, but I like to have layers of flavor, and this mild cheddar certainly has a lot of flavor. Okay, now it's time to get some of the good stuff on, the pulled pork. We did the quarantine pork butt, we have the leftovers. All I did is put it in a pot, heat it up, make sure you get that pulled pork nice and warm so some of those fats and everything will break down so it'll get some moisture back inside that pulled pork. You just want, don't wanna go straight from the freezer, straight from the fridge and put it on this pizza. It's not gonna taste good. And I like to incorporate the same sauce that I'm using for my base as a marinara inside the pulled pork. So I add about a quarter cup. That's about uh, two cups there of pulled pork I have left over. I'm gonna put approximately one cup of pulled pork with the barbecue sauce already added to it on top of each pie. So basically what I do is I just get some of the pork and uh, make sure it's kind of shredded up here. Just, you know, no right or wrong or reason here, just to add it to it. Just like you would pepperoni or any other ingredient on a pizza. 
And once you get it coated nice and good, what I like to do, rule of thumb, is I like to make sure that every bite I have a little bit of that pulled pork on every single bite. Basically about a cup per pie. Okay, now that we got the pulled pork on, it's time to get the other cheese on. And I'm using, of course, when you think of pizza, you gotta have some good mozzarella. And guess what? Kroger, they came through. Instead of having a knuckle bust and grade that cheese, they have it straight off the block now. So I prefer that. They had it on sale, so Tommy D cheating today. So, let's get a good cup to a cup and a half, excuse me, a cup and a half of good old mozzarella. And you're gonna give it a good coat and you're gonna go right over the top of that pulled pork. Okay, the next ingredient is certainly optional. I like to have a little color, and onions are good flavor. So what I did is I got a red onion, about a half a red onion, I diced it up. I'm just gonna add a few pieces to it on the top so it can kind of melt into that good mozzarella there, okay? And then I'm gonna add a little bit of jalapenos. I'm gonna spice it up a little bit, just a little bit here and there. And again, folks, y'all make this recipe your own. You add, subtract, do whatever you want to do to this recipe. I'm just letting you know, cooking it out on that good old pellet grill is going to add a lot of flavor to it, and it is going to be delicious. Okay, last but certainly not least, I'm going to put about three or four pieces of bacon that I chopped up. I'm going to put it on top. It's going to add a lot of flavor. You're going to make it look real nice and pretty. Now that we got our pizza ready, we got all the ingredients on this pie crust, it's time to get it outside and get it on our smoker. Today I'm going to be running the smoker on the high setting, but basically a rule of thumb is you want to cook these pizzas the same temperature as it states on the directions on your pie crust that you're using. If you're doing a homemade pie, do it the same temperature that you've always cooked your other pizzas on. Again, if you don't have a grill, you can always put it in the oven and do it the normal way. I'll meet you outside, get your mind right. All right, don't that look good? I got these two pies on the smoker. I'm using my Camp Chef DLX ZG model today. It has the second rack, which comes in handy on days like today, where you got two pies here. We're running it on high. We want it at least 450. Very important to get your grill on high as you really possibly can, especially if you're using a smoker, because when you open this lid, it lets a lot of heat out. So we're going to close this lid. It's going to take about seven to 10 minutes. Just want to keep an eye on them. Again, make sure you turn your temperature all the way up. If your pie crust says 425, turn it up to 45500. Again, you're going to lose a lot of that heat. So you should be right there in a good range. There's one last step I forgot to include inside. I sprinkled a little bit of that sweet baby raise on top. to add a little bit of sweetness to it there. Today I'm using cherry pellets from BNB Charcoal as usual. I love B&B Charcoal. I can get those at my local Academy Sports, so I don't have to get them shipped in the mail. I think it's very important not to get these shipped in the mail if you can help it. Uh, that way it cuts down some of the dust that's created from these pellets in that wood, so that dust from the pellets doesn't get down in your hopper. Keep that in mind as a quick tip. But today we're using cherry. I love the cherry flavor when you're doing any baking or anything. It's a good, mild flavor. Plus, it adds a little bit of color. Stay tuned. Okay, we're back inside. My family's hungry. I'm hungry. It's the moment of truth. This pizza was on for about 15 minutes, give or take a few minutes. It's very important that you turn your grill on a little bit higher than the direction state. Because when you lift that lid up or you open your oven, you're going to lose a lot of that heat. So it's going to add some time. A lot of variables come into play. Again, be patient with it and make it your own. Let's dig in here. Let's cut this pie up. I know my family's ready. If you can hear it, you might hear Baxter man back there on his horse back there, but that's okay. I got twins. If you don't like kids, then you might want to try another YouTube channel because it's kind of hard to keep them quiet at sometimes when daddy's filming, but it's all good. All right. I can't stand it no more. You can see, you can smell. I drizzled some of that barbecue sauce on top of it. I got some jalapenos here. Let's try this out. This is a great quarantine leftover pizza. That crust is real crispy. You got some that good char grilled taste to it. That's why I love cooking it out on the pellet smoker. And remember folks, you can barbecue too, just like Tommy D can. But rule number one, 
you got to get your mind right. Cheers to you. Y'all stay safe out there in this quarantine. We're going to get through it. Get your mind right. <laughs>